Hey everybody, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I did this a couple of times, I learned something new, uh, and I'm going to try to do it. I can't guarantee it's going to be smooth. Uh, I had a problem with my microphone, so what you didn't see was I right-clicked, Groups, New Machine Group, Lathe, and up came a menu, and all I had to do in there was give it a new stock setup dialog, and I gave it... Uh, the stock diameter 40 millimeter, the length uh, of 0.51, the reason why the length was important is because uh, that helps my stock transfer work out. But anyway, that's what that's what we did. And uh, it updates, and let me see if I right click here, right click, click, uh, I can then say uh, GP cap and go ahead and right click on this part, make sure in the levels manager I'm on the right level, and then go ahead and wireframe, I'll create a turn profile. And this is an upper turret machine, so I don't need to worry about a full profile, just upper. And so I create a turn profile, then uh, I can highlight this geometry, well actually wait up, I'm going to grab out of my last toolpath group, click, shift, click, all the operations, uh, click down here, make sure that I, here let me see, uh, right click, and I should be able to Oh crap, I don't know if I copied or not. So click, shift, click, copy, click down here, right click, paste, uh, use the existing tool. So we're working a family part here. And I can take my transfer right here, uh, push my uh, where I'm at, my little red arrow, down to that position. I'm going to actually delete the stock transfer because that won't work for this one. And so now where I'm at, I need a stock transfer. So going to the turning dialog, stock transfer, it's like you always want an easy button. Let's get an easy button to just get stock across the machine. This really isn't it, but this is as close as we have. Uh, I don't know why this stuff is as hard as it still is, but uh, they're working on like Sandvik Prime Turning or some other uh, stupid, you know, technology product that has nothing to do with making you efficient. Um, let me see, stock position, uh, when they should really work on the basics of the program and just get it to get this shit to happen easier. Uh, so for whatever reason, this seems to work. If I go with an original position Z24, and pick off of uh, hell. I'll click it. I'll click a line and subtract sixty thou. So that's uh, four five. My main spindle position. Give this a negative two point zero. Negative two point zero. And so I'm telling it, hey, the main spindle never moved. Uh, the sub spindle came from somewhere else. It picked off here. Uh, the stock position was here, and now, uh, let me see, I think it's going to be uh, 0.45 plus 24, something like that. Ooh, that doesn't seem right. You know, I don't know, I don't know what the rhyme or reason for this is yet. Um, Who knows? I just put a number in there. That's the part that could go awry. I'm going to, for now, uh, select. Uh, I'm not going to blank original geometry. I'm going to transfer geometry. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to keep on the same level for right now. And we'll green check. And what that should do is it should create me something over here. Then what I need to do, 
because I, I haven't been able to get repeatedly the stock to come to the same place, uh, is I'm just going to go into parameters on the next operation, toolpad parameters, select upper right. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, new tool plane. It's going to be GP uh, sub. So I create a, a work plane and I give it a position. Uh, and so that went 24.522. And now I can use that, that plane for my operations. Upper right, sub, uh, oh, manual, I'm going to manual key it to 55. Uh, and we'll see it. So it's saying GP sub. And then what I got to do is grab the GP sub plane, edit, give this a manual of one, uh, which it has, so that's good. And then what I have to do is go into each of these operations and update the GP sub. Or what will happen is I'll be cutting relative to a plane that isn't where my part is. And now I could go about and reconnect my operations in the tree and have my next program kind of close for myself. But that's the video. Uh, I really would like it if uh, uh, this was greatly simplified, bringing in a part. It should just be, hey, it should prompt you. You're, oh, you're bringing a new part into lathe? Yes. Uh, what? Click a diameter for me. Click. Then click uh, green, green check. Click a face for me. Click. And it should orient your part. And then it should be, uh, I want to work on G55. Uh, I want to work on the sub. Click a button and bam. Your shit should go over there. Uh, or it should prompt you, which click a face relative to G55Z0. And you click this face, bang, and it goes across. And uh, we could do in seconds what we're doing in, in minutes and what's kind of confusing at this point, especially for people who aren't in the software every day or who are learning it. Anyway, hope this helps. Catch you later. Bye.